Black pen, red pen. Black pen, red pen. Hi! Today we have another guest speaker, Edward. And he was one of my former Calculus 2 students. And today he's going to show us how to integrate square root with tangent of x inside. But this time, is the one that was the h. So it's the hyperbolic tangent x inside of the square root. So all yours. Hi everyone, I'm Edward and I'm happy to be on the Black Pen Red Pen channel today. I was a former student and now I'll be moving on to USC this fall to start in biochemistry. But today we're going to be talking about the integral of the square root of hyperbolic tangent x dx. So the first thing we want to do to solve this problem is to say u is equal to the square root of hyperbolic tangent x and then the next step is to square both sides when we square both sides we get u squared is equal to hyperbolic tangent x now we want to take the derivative of both sides so the derivative of u squared is 2u times du and the derivative of this is hyperbolic secant squared x dx now we need to make a relationship if we square both sides for this, we get hyperbolic tangent square x is equal to u to the fourth. Now, we know that cos square x minus sin square x equals 1. If we divide everything by cos square x, we get 1 minus hyperbolic tangent square x is equal to hyperbolic secant square x. If we move this here and move this here, we get this. Now, hyperbolic tangent square x is equal to this. We could replace this hyperbolic tangent square x for 1 minus hyperbolic secant square x. Here is equal to u to the fourth. And if we move this here and move this here, we get this. So now we know that hyperbolic secant square x is equal to 1 minus u to the fourth power. So from this point, if we divide both sides by hyperbolic secant square x, we get the fact that dx is equal to 2u over hyperbolic secant square x, which hyperbolic secant square x is now 1 minus u to the fourth power du. And now we go back. Square root of hyperbolic tangent x is equal to u, and dx is now equal to 2u divided by 1 minus u to the fourth power du. So this times this. And now we multiply it. u times 2u is 2u squared over 1 minus u to the fourth power du. So now we want to factor this. So 1 minus u squared. 1 plus u squared. Be aware that you can still factor this more, but trust me, if you stop here, it's quicker for this situation. So now we want to use our knowledge from partial fraction. Well, 2u squared over 1 minus u squared times 1 plus u squared is equal to au plus b over 1 minus u squared plus cu plus d over 1 plus u squared. Now notice that this is linear because the denominator is a quadratic and that applies to both cases. So we multiply everything by the LCD. which is 1 minus u squared times 1 plus u squared. So this times the LCD gives you 2u squared. This times the LCD gives you au plus b times 1 plus u squared. And then this term times this gives you cu plus d multiplied by 1 minus u squared. Now we foil. au times 1 gives us au au times u squared gives us positive au cubed. Positive b times 1 gives us positive b. And positive b times positive u squared gives us positive bu squared. 
we do the same thing here. Cu times 1 gives us Cu. Positive Cu times negative u squared gives us negative Cu cubed. Positive d times 1 gives us positive d. And then positive d times negative u squared gives us negative d u squared. So now we want to look at each term with the same power. So we take au cubed and negative cu cubed. If we combine it, we can factor out the u cubed. And we would have 2u squared is equal to parentheses a minus c times u cubed. And then we look at the square powers. If we factor this, if we factor the u square out, we get b minus d times u square. And then if we do the same thing for this one, we have a plus c times u. And then finally, for the constant terms, we have positive b plus d. So looking at this, at the left hand side, this is u squared, and at the right hand side, this is u to the third power. So a minus c has to be equal to 0 because they're not the same. And then at the left hand side, once again, it's u to the second power, and this is u to the second power. So b minus d has to be equal to 2. And then for this, because the left hand side, the power on the left hand side is not equal to the power on the right hand side, a plus c has to be 0. And then finally, for the constant terms, same applies. The powers are not the same, so b plus d has to be equal to 0. So using our knowledge from system of equations, a plus a is 2a, negative c plus c is 0, and 0 plus 0 is 0. Divide both sides by 2, a is equal to 0, plug it back in to solve for c, c is equal to 0. Same thing applies here b plus b is 2b, negative d plus d is 0, 2 plus 0 is 2. Divide both sides by 2, b is equal to 1. Plug it back in to solve for d, d is equal to negative 1. So now, au is equal to 0, b, b is equal to 1, cu is equal to 0, and d is equal to negative 1. And now we go back right here. So now we have the integral of 1 over 1 minus u squared plus negative 1 over 1 plus u squared du. So now you could treat this as two separate integrals. So the integral for this is the inverse hyperbolic tangent of u minus the inverse tangent of u. But the question was given in the x world, so we have to go back to the x world. Remember we said u is equal to the square root of the hyperbolic tangent of x. So we just plug that in. So we say the final answer is the inverse hyperbolic tangent of the square root of the hyperbolic tangent of x minus the inverse tangent of the square root of the hyperbolic tangent of x plus c. And that's it. Hope you guys had fun. See you guys next time.